Hello, 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 hello. And thank you for joining us today on The Real Anglers Fishing Show. I am your host, Kevin Brandon. Now, The Real Anglers Fishing Show is not your typical fishing show. So if you haven't seen us before, let me give you a little breakdown of what we do. We are a variety show jam-packed with clips from all over California. It's my job to get you excited to go out and experience these adventures for yourself and with your family. And yes, I say family because we're huge advocates for family fun. So we show you stuff like whale watching, the tall ships that come into our harbor. We can pair up with great organizations like Project Killing Waters Fly Fishing and some of their charity events, as well as Ventura County Food Share and Channel Island Sport Fishing for events such as Fish for Food, where all the fish that we catch goes to Ventura County Food Share. I take you to great events like the Fred Hall Show, show you how to get gear up again bringing those resources that you need to get out and experience this for yourself so once you sit back relax and let me tell you about what we have for you today because we're packed on today's show we're spoiled in california it's always like summer so you could get out and do a few things have you ever been whale watching or even out to the channel islands it's an awesome experience for you and your family the whales migrate down south down to mexico and it's like the 405 here in the channel whale traffic everywhere with the majestic channel islands in the backdrop it's the perfect time to get out and do some hoop netting. What's hoop netting, you ask? Only the coolest way to catch your dinner, spiny lobsters, rock crabs, and some big California spider crabs await you in the depths. Only 20 to 30 feet, so it's really easy. The boat provides the bait, the net, drop it down, wait about 20, 30 minutes, retrieve it up. That's the fun part. It's like a treasure chest. You never know what's going to be in there. And check this out, fellas. Whatever is in there, you can cook the next night, so you get two dates out of one. Win-win situation, guys. You got to try it out. We're going to show you clip one of two from the Fred Hall show from last year that happens every year in March. It's only the biggest show on the West Coast. RVs, boats, fishing supplies, camping, everything you need from California, from down to San Diego, all the way to the Sierras, all the way up to Alaska even. It has everything at the Fred Hall show. So sit back, relax, put the remote control down, and come on an adventure with the Real Angers Fishing Show. Let's go. anglers we're out on the cobra tonight doing some hoop netting had a channel island sport fishing in between hoop netting we'll be doing some fishing as well for some chocolate bass pretty exciting out here jam-packed with action you're either hooping looking for lobsters and crabs you get a chance to catch some rockfish so you're bringing home something regardless out here on the cobra at a channel island sport fishing with real anglers fishing show let's go has them in theirs because he has them all in his. Right there, buddy. Sweet. What you got? What you got? Anything flapping around in there? Got a crab on the bottom, a big one. Big one, pull it up. Pull it up. There you go. It's a nice one. Look at that. That's the biggest one so far. Jackpot so far. The guys are all get off. So I fight you. More of a pinch. Oh, oh, yeah. you, huh? you can reach behind. Yeah, I, that's yeah. what I was trying to explain. <laughs> <laughs> How was that? The Popeye forearm on there. I thought he didn't have the reach. Sure did. Well, the trip leaves at 5:30. Um, get back around 11 o'clock. Uh, as you see, it's a mix between fishing and hoop netting. Get a lot of crab. Uh oh, hookup. Uh oh, nice little rockfish. Here's one of the little rockfish that we captured. A little brown rockfish. A lot of ten of these and a lot of crabs. A lot of mixed 35 crab, rock crab, and spider crab. And uh, seven lobsters. Everybody gets their own trap. Four. 
and uh, most people seem to enjoy the trip. There you go. There we go. Don't pull him out yet. No, smack the crap out of me. Well, I don't want him to flop back in. What number was this one? One? Four. Good job. This one was four, but this one was one, right? Yeah! Very nice. So yeah. we're looking for him. That's your meal right there you were talking about. Uh, I'm the lucky, lucky guy who found the lover from the most high. And when you're there, You know how to clean them with the antenna? Yeah. Okay. What is it? Yeah. Yeah, Break off the antenna, yeah, clean out the vein. Put the antenna in the back end and pull it out. Take the vineyards with it. Really? Mm -hmm. A female. Yummy. How long will they stay alive in the cooler for? Uh, at least until morning. You have to make sure the bag's wet, dip it in the water. Uh, Put in an ice chest, uh, maybe over top of a bag of ice that's sealed. You don't want fresh water getting on. No fresh water? No fresh water. Magnificent and majestic Channel Islands National Park stretches for just under 250,000 acres of pure beauty and breathtaking scenery. Like one of our most popular is at the Channel Islands National Park, Ark Island. Wind, tides, and waves have eroded away certain parts of the islands and etched out some of the coolest caves along the faces of parts of the Channel Islands. These islands are home to an abundance of sea wildlife migrating whales, birds, dolphin pods, seals that have colonies up and down the beaches along the Channel Islands National Park. out at the Channel Islands is full of energy and spectacular sights found nowhere else on the planet. Every day is something new to see at sea in the Channel Islands National Park. Come out and enjoy and experience what nature awaits you and the family in the beautiful Channel Islands National Park.
Channel Island Sport Fishing has been creating memories and setting records for over 50 years. With 14 boats on schedule, makes Channel Island Sport Fishing the biggest fleet in the Central Coast. A fully stocked tackle shop with all your needs, rod rental, fishing licenses, all available in our office. Three quarter day, half day, full day, and overnight trips, we have something for everybody at Channel Island Sport Fishing. We also offer well watching trips and sea faris. Come out and see the Channel Islands for yourself. Check us out on the web at ChannelIslandSportFishing.com for all the latest photos, fish reports, and what's hot in the Channel Islands fishing. 805-382-1612. That's 805-382-1612. And come out and make memories of your own. Real Language is brought to you by JT's Automotive. Foreign and domestic vehicles and a free diagnostic check. Let Jose take care of you. JT's Automotive. GeForce Printing and Graphics, the smart choice for your business. GeForce Printing and Graphics in Oxnard. Billy D's Backyard Barbecue. Smoke Q, serve quick to you in Newberry Park. Billy D's Barbecue. Eco Leaser, Rock Lease Descending Device. Do your part with Eco Leaser. It's our responsibility. Channel Island Sport Fishing. Come out and make memories of your own and catch your own record breaking fish at Channel Island Sport Fishing. Maui Gem Sunglasses. Backside anti glare polarized lenses make them the best lenses out on the water. Maui Gem. Promar Ahi USA. For that big trophy catch, choose Promar Ahi USA and fill those sacks. Bear Bites in Ventura. For the juiciest burgers and the best breakfast in town, Bear Bites on Ventura Avenue. JD's Tattoo. For all your art, piercing, and tattoos, stop by JD's Tattoo on Ventura Avenue. Take to the sky in a helicopter and see those Channel Islands with Channel Islands Helicopter. And Real Anglers would like to thank these fine supporters. Real Anglers Fishing Show supports our local fishing clubs. Hey folks, Kevin Brandon here and I'm at the Mercury booth. I'm in the Mercury 150, the new boat. Check this thing out, it's like the Cadillac of uh, boats. I'm the captain of this ship. We're gonna cruise around the Fred Hall show, introduce you to some cool people, show you some cool products. 2014 Fred Hall show out here in Long Beach, California with the Real Langers Fishing Show. Let's go. Did you do something just now? Yeah, my name is Luke Bastian. We're at the Fred Hall Show and we're selling hunting and fishing trips to Sitka, Alaska. We do uh, lodge based fishing out of Sitka and then all kinds of hunting. So, our hunting and website is Archipelago Adventures. Dot com and our fishing website is Frontier Charters. So, uh, take a look. Hi, 
am Shauna with Beretta USA. We're out here at the 2014 Fred Hall Show, showing off the latest and greatest in the Beretta line. Come on down to the truck. We've got the mobile showroom with our virtual firing range, showing off our brand new DT-11 premium competition shotgun. Hey, I'm Woody with Long Beach uh, Fishing Supplies. Come check us out at Fred Hall Show. Come check us out at Long Beach, California, and uh, fish on, buddies. Did you do something just now? Kevin Brown here with the Real Anglers Fishing Show. We stopped by the Eco Leaser booth. These are descending devices. Barrel trauma right now in descending devices is really big in the rock fishing. The fish get uh, gas that fills up when you bring them up from depths. The atmosphere changes and their eyes bulge out and the mouth blows out. So scientists and researchers are doing things to, um, to release the fish again with the descending device. So we're here at the Eco Leaser booth. You might have seen them on the Real Anglers Show before. But it's really big right now. It's really important for the industry. We all use these. We're getting behind it. So if you see these on uh, boats, or you don't have one on your boat, definitely pick one up and do your part for conservancy. Let's go fishing, leave a little something. And uh, again, the Eco Leaser booth here at Day of the Dock, 2014 with the Real Angers Fishing Show. Kevin Brandon, let's go. Hi there, thanks for checking out Billy D's Backyard Barbecue. My name is Bill Dauber, I'm one of the owners as well as my wife, Carrie. Hi. Billy D's Backyard Barbecue opened in uh, the Newbury Park, Thousand Oaks area of Ventura County in 2011. At Billy D's, we're committed to taking care of all of our guests with high quality food and great backyard service. Both Carrie and I have been in the restaurant business for 20 plus years and love serving guests here in the community. Thanks for checking us out. Billy D's Backyard Barbecue has all the barbecue favorites. Pulled pork. Tri-tip, brisket, sausage, chicken, St. Louis, and beef ribs. We smoke all of our meats daily in our Southern Pride smokers. We use a blend of hickory and pecan wood chips. Our barbecue is a blend of a number of different regions across the country. California, Texas, the Carolinas, and Memphis. That's what makes us unique over everybody else. Billy's Backyard Barbecue offers some great tasting barbecue favorites like hamburgers, hot dogs, barbecue chicken sandwich, we also have some unique items like our smoked meatloaf or our smoked chicken wings. And for all you health nuts out there, we have some great options. A barbecue chopped salad, a smoked cob salad, perhaps a portobello mushroom, either as a plate or a sandwich. Our smoked salmon is excellent. Smoked daily, again, over our hickory and pecan woods. Billy's Backyard Barbecue has all your favorite side items, like mac and cheese and corn. But try some of our unique items, like our sweet potato fries, tater tots, cornbread muffins, fried pickles. Give them all a try, I know you'll love them. Try one of our five barbecue sauces to go with that. Sweet, spicy, our Carolina, our tangy mustard, or our blonde barbecue sauce. Our five barbecue sauces make Billy D's unique over all the competition. Billy's Backyard Barbecue is located in Newbury Park off of Wendy Drive, just off the 101 freeway. We're located in the fresh and easy parking lot, conveniently located for all of you. We offer great dine-in seating, patio seating, takeout orders, and catering. Come enjoy some draft beer, bottled beer, wine. Enjoy your favorite game on one of our three 50-inch HD TVs. It's a great place to share time with family and friends, and we'll even do the cleanup for you. Hey folks, Kevin Brandon here, and I'm out here today with Ken Robledo. Yes, correct. With the uh, Fillmore Fish Hatchery. He's the manager here, and he's going to give us a tour around the Fillmore Fish Hatchery and show you all the really cool things they have to do out here. Thanks a lot, Ken. Welcome. Do you want to uh, take a walk around and show us all the cool stuff? Sure. Real quick, like I'd just like to point out that uh, we are a state fish hatchery, part of California Department of Fish and Game. We are a uh, trout production trout hatchery, meaning we receive our fish in an egg stage, uh, raise them for one year, and then uh, plant them or stock them in local waters, public waters that is, uh, for recreational purposes. That's our whole intent, is for the recreation for the uh, uh, angler. Uh, we um, are one of 22 hatcheries in the state of California. Uh, we have eight salmon hatcheries, 
and 14 uh, trout hatcheries. Uh, we handle uh, Southern California, primarily Los Angeles County, Ventura, and um, a little bit of Orange County, but pretty much Southern California in uh, conjunction or affiliation with uh, Mojave River Hatchery, which is out in Victorville, who also handles Southern California, but more so towards Riverside, San Bernardino, uh, San Diego areas. So, But uh, I'd like to welcome you, and uh, we'll, we'll start our little tour here and uh, go from here. Let's go! This is where the trout starts to grow, at the Fillmore Fish Hatchery. These magnificent fish get ready to become game fish. The small fry start out here in these small bins from an egg state. It's a screened insert. Um, put the eggs away here. We put them away at 20 ounces of eggs in this each individual tray and it's a sealed unit pretty much. Uh, closes on up, sits in the water, constant flow and uh, this way when they when the uh, eggs hatch which on average they hatch in within a week's time uh, they'll remain in the tray, this incubator tray uh, approximately 10, to 10 days to 14 days uh, they're born with a sack of food, nature's way. Uh, it takes about 10 days to absorb that sack. So they'll be in this incubator tray for approximately two weeks. At that point, uh, we'll transfer them either into our deep tanks uh, behind you here. Water supply flowing through this, uh, what we call a deep tank. Uh, we can raise them here or back outside in the uh, concrete ponds or uh, raceways and it takes one year to raise these uh, fry as we call them, elevens or fry, uh, one year to reach a half pound desired size. That's what we uh, strive for is uh, producing a half pound fish to stock in the local lakes and streams for the angler. So with that goes all the fish culture, which is uh, all part of the uh, process uh, from uh, inventories and various sizes of fish feed and the growth of and movement of from one pond into another as they outgrow. The whole fish culture process uh, goes into that time frame of one year to, to reach that, that goal. So Ken, when you show up here at the fish hatchery, you just show up, park in the parking lot and come in and just take a look? Primarily it's self-guided. Just walk the uh, pond areas, uh, designated areas, and uh, we also offer a gumball machine basically with fish food. For a dime you get a small handful and you're, um, you, you can actually feed the fish. Uh, kids enjoy it. All families are pretty much, we have a high following generation after generation that come to the hatchery. We've been here since 1942. It's a good pastime. With all the birds and wildlife trying to get in at the trout, big gates and nets are put up to keep them out. A small staff of workers and volunteers are here helping to keep the Fillmore Fish Hatchery running. There are screens put in to separate the big fish from the little fish as the larger trout actually eat the smaller trout. When it's time to take the trout to be stocked in local lakes, they get loaded in a truck for transport. But first, they have to take a quick swim and a purple solution to prevent diseases and parasites. Well, Ken, it's been a lot of fun. I learned a lot of stuff out here today. I do a lot of saltwater fishing, so to get out here and do the freshwater thing was, was a treat. Uh, looks like it's a lot of work out here you guys got going, so I think it's awesome that you know the fishing game allows this kind of program, so that way, fishermen like me and the other real anglers out there that fish the freshwater once in a while know that it all starts right here and how important this is to, uh, to the fishermen. Well, appreciate you all coming out and um, hope we gave you uh, good information and uh, kind of a follow-up is also we have 22 hatcheries in the state of California from we're the most southerly Ventura and Mojave but we're as far north as uh, Eureka it's called the Mad River Hatchery and then there's the Iron Gate Hatchery, just south of the Oregon border, uh, near uh, Holbrook. And we're all a, a big team, and uh, 
basically uh, our purpose is to pr provide uh, recreational uh, opportunities uh, for the uh, angling opportunities for the, for the fishermen of California. So, for you real anglers. Thanks a lot, Ken. <laughs> okay. Thanks a lot. Channel Island Sport Fishing has been creating memories and setting records for over 50 years. With 14 boats on schedule, makes Channel Island Sport Fishing the biggest fleet in the Central Coast. A fully stocked tackle shop with all your needs, rod rental, fishing licenses, all available in our office. Three quarter day, half day, full day, and overnight trips, we have something for everybody at Channel Island Sport Fishing. We also offer well watching trips and safaris. Come out and see the Channel Islands for yourself. Check us out on the web at ChannelIslandSportFishing.com for all the latest photos, fish reports, and what's hot in the Channel Islands fishing. 805-382-1612. That's 805-382-1612. And come out and make memories of your own. Pearl Language is brought to you by JT's Automotive. Foreign and domestic vehicles and a free diagnostic check. Let Jose take care of you. JT's Automotive. GeForce Printing and Graphics, the smart choice for your business. GeForce Printing and Graphics in Oxnard. Billy D's Backyard Barbecue. Smoke Q, serve quick to you in Newberry Park. Billy D's Barbecue. Ecoleaser, Rock Lease Descending Device. Do your part with Ecoleaser. It's our responsibility. Channel Island Sport Fishing. Come out and make memories of your own and catch your own record breaking fish at Channel Island Sport Fishing. Maui Gem Sunglasses. Backside anti glare polarized lenses. Make them the best lenses out on the water. Maui Gym. Promar Ahi USA. For that big trophy catch, choose Promar Ahi USA and fill those sacks. Bear Bites in Ventura. For the juiciest burgers and the best breakfast in town, Bear Bites on Ventura Avenue. JD's Tattoo. For all your art, piercing, and tattoos, stop by JD's Tattoo on Ventura Avenue. Take to the sky in a helicopter and see those Channel Islands with Channel Islands Helicopter. And real anglers would like to thank these fine supporters. Real Anglers Fishing Show supports our local fishing clubs. The objective here at Royal Langers is to get you excited enough to get up and experience these things on your own. It's really simple. For what you spend on a ball game or an amusement park, you can spend on guides and services to help you until you get this down on your own. Grab your family, grab your buddies, and go out and make those memories that last you a lifetime. Your kid's never going to forget the first time they caught a fish or saw a well or other great memories that you can make out here in your own backyard. You can also check out extra clips like tackle tips and ones you didn't see here on Real Anglers at our Real Anglers YouTube page. And please throw us a like on Facebook to get notifications on the cool outdoor stuff that we do that you can be a part of. Again, we'd like to thank you today for joining us on the Real Anglers Fishing Show, and we'll see you next time. God bless. <laughs>